Welcome, welcome to another DS Tech tutorial. And today we're going to be looking at how to use compositors for effects and animation in the Flowblade video editor for Linux. By the way, I'm Jay, and you're watching DS Tech Media, where we cover everything tech from hardware to software, consoles to servers, but specializing in Linux and open source technology. So Flowblade is a free and open source video editor for Linux, and I've covered it in the past, done reviews on features and new releases, and I've also compared it to Kden Live. But today we're going to be uh, zooming in specifically on how Flowblade works with compositors and effects. And if you don't know, in video editing, compositors are the mechanism for manipulating visual media and layers in the video editing process. So it's how you place and move around videos or images above your background color video or, or any, any visual element, really. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is Flowblade, and I went ahead and set up a project for demonstrating compositing. And I've got three video tracks, one audio track. Uh, for video track one, I have a recording of Coinbase. And Flowblade has three compositing modes. Uh, there's top-down free move, which is the most advanced standard auto follow and standard full track right now i'm in standard auto follow and if i hit play when i reach the bit shoot logo on the second layer you'll see it appears as a black background if i right click go to add compositor and we'll go ahead and do a transform compositor now it's composited above the video layer below and we can resize it and reposition it etc and so forth if i change it to standard full track the compositor goes away but now you can see oh and the compositing options that were in this panel before go away but now you can see it above the layer this is the simplest compositing mode in Flowblade, and the way this works is basically anything that we add gets placed visually above the layers below it. Now, if we want to uh, manipulate the size or change like a fade in or fade out on a layer in this mode, we're going to have to add a filter. So we could do uh, position and scale. And now the position and scale filter, this uh, line here represents our position along the clip, which is the DS Tech media clip. And if I go move a few seconds forward, click add, and now resize and move, I can go back and we get the resize and move. For some people, this mode is going to be uh, perfectly fine and they'll never need to do anything else this keeps it nice and simple for them and will probably suit their needs let's go ahead and switch to standard auto follow now with standard auto follow you're gonna have to add compositors to each track above the bottom one in order to get the uh, visibility so with standard auto follow we can add we have compositors for each uh, image and we can change uh, things about them on this one I have an affine blend and I've made it so that the image blends in and grows and then also sort of rotates as it leaves and then below it I have the standard transform on the bit shoot logo and it's just moving so let me change some things about the affine blend actually And standard auto follow also means you have no control over which layer each layer appears over. So your top layer is on the top and all the layers beneath it are beneath it. Whereas if we do top down free move, 
Now I can make track 3 appear above or below. And now we can blend two layers together. So the top track is set to render onto uh, V2. And of course V2 is rendering onto V3. So here we go. Let's test this out. Okay, so now let's uh, use another example. Here I have a video recorded from my phone. And beneath it, I have an image, which is the outline of my phone. Okay, so now I kind of have them both lined up. And then I can go over here to the uh, fade in on each hey. one. And add the fade in. And they'll both fade in at the same time. And then of course we can always uh, go into the filters and we can use the compositor to manage the transparency and positioning of the video layer. And we can also add some filters to it. So let's go down here to alpha or let's go to artistic, give it some old film effect. Let's give it some lines. So now we've got the lines and the old film effect appearing on the phone, kind of like on an old TV screen or something. And if we only want that on part of the clip, we can cut the clip, leave the compositor in place, and the lines and everything will disappear, and we'll just have the regular video appearing after this section with the effects is gone. Let's give it a dust effect on the BitChute logo. Let's uh, have a ramp up for the opacity. And then we can also shear via the X and Y, or we could do uh, maybe a rotating effect. We can also uh, save these compositor values and load them from later. This is one I used on a previous video. And then it fades out at the end. And uh, we also have different types of compositors. So in total, we've got several different compositors. We've got the Affine Blend, which I don't fully understand. I know it can be used if you're layering certain things. We've got the Regular Blend, which lets you use the different transparency functions which is also good if you're trying to achieve certain effects we've got about 15 of them here something like that soft light hard light color burn color dodge light and darken i don't have the understanding you know the way to use these but they can be used effectively to achieve certain effects they're they're kind of like the building blocks of certain things there's transform which I've been showing you, which allows you to move, size, control the opacity, the XYZ rotation, and of course the X and Y shearing of anything you want. There's the alphas, which can also be useful in layering. There's alpha in, alpha out, alpha XOR, and luma to alpha. So that is alpha in, alpha out, alpha XOR, and you can use these best if you have a good understanding of how compositing works, which I do not. Then you have uh, various types of blenders. Grain merge is one. And basically all the different functions, hard light, hue, light, and multiply overlay. And then there's wipe translate and wipe clip length. The wipes you have lots of different effects you can use I'm cycling through them here if 
All right, so another filter I want to show you. If we go to Alpha and we go to Roto Mask, it'll open up the filters dialog and you'll get this button here. But most importantly, you'll get this Alpha Filters info. If you're adding Alpha Filter Roto Mask into a clip. Here is some info on how Alpha Filters work on Flowblade. Alpha Filters work by modifying Images Alpha Channel. To see the effect of Alpha Filter, you need to composite this clip on the track below by adding a compositor-like blend into this clip. Alpha filters on clips on track V1 have no effect. This applies to all compositing modes other than standard full track. So that means in order for this to work, we're going to need to add a compositor. And now we're going to launch the Roto Mask Editor. And now we can draw a shape using this tool and then we have the option to move it with this tool so I'm just gonna basically move it off screen gonna add another point and bring it in and then the feathering and feather passes allow you to sort of break up how smooth the lines are Okay, now let me show you how it looks in practice. And it's not compositing at full speed, it's slowed down because it has to be rendered to play at full speed. And that is the Roto Mask. Uh, let's see, there's other ones. This is Alpha Shape, which I could have used this to make everything easier on the last one basically. This is the uh, vertigo effect. We can also uh, mess with the perspectives. There's actually uh, quite a lot of good effects here to pick from. But yeah, that is a quick rundown of how to use compositors in Flowblade. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Uh, I highly recommend Flowblade. I think it's a great editor. Arlo's here right on time for me finishing up the video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments, of course, in the section below. And please help us grow. Like, share, subscribe all that good stuff and until the next time i will see you in the next one